so what's happening right now is we are in a semiconductor crisis right now this happened basically in the covid situation initially in 2017 we had about 95 million vehicles and then the industry had to go to a downward cycle now when that happened in 2019 uh COVID happened, the pandemic came. Now, when the pandemic came, the OEMs pulled their orders of semiconductors and these semiconductors were supplied to medical industry. It was supplied to all these gadgets that we use, the mobile phones, the tech gadgets. Now, that, inc that, that usage increased because we were in a work from home situation. Now, when the, sem uh, when the vehicles were called again, that the demand for vehicles increased, now, at that point of time, the OEMs again demanded these semiconductor chip companies to give them semiconductors. Now, the semiconductors were in a crisis situation. They did not have any semiconductors left. Now, the cycle for that is eight months. Now, after eight months, will the semiconductor com companies will be able to supply these uh, chips to OEMs, which is when I think in be uh, we believe in 2024, is when we'll get over this crisis. So how we are helping is we are a research-based organization. We're into market research. What we do is we give more insight to OEMs so that they can make a better and informed decision about their capabilities. Now, what we're doing right now is now the Indian per se, the battery electric scene is growing. And uh, now the batteries are being subsidized by the government. The battery prices had gone down. But now, due to the COVID situation, the battery price is going up again. Now, what we need to see in the future is how does battery electric vehicles compete with ICE? Now, I'm also working on a special report is on how semiconductors are impacting battery electric vehicles. Because particularly, these electric vehicles use more chips than the ICE vehicles. So now we're in the shortage and let's see what how the industry progresses.